We are going to pray in the word we find in the book of Samuel. Samuel Wakabiri. Second Samuel. Chapter 9, verse 1. David Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The next morning, the King David asked that, Is there anyone left in Saul's family? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus so much. This story here, it has got something it is meaning. It shows something so great that the next day, King David, he asked that, that is there anyone left of Saul's family so that I can show him kindness for the sake of Jonathan? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this part here, I want us to talk about it. There is a speaking of God here. There is the, the, the I mean the gospel or the message I'm given. The message which is saying that to be remembered by God. God remembers his people. When they say to be remembered by God, know that God can forget his person, but there are things God thinks of about his person and does good to him. King David, he was a good friend to Jonathan. Before David becoming a king, before David getting a famous name, he was a good friend of Jonathan. And Jonathan was from Saul's family. And Saul, he used to, he wanted to kill David. And the evil spirits could make him attack David. And Jonathan could understand what's happening. And he could understand what's going on with Saul. And he could run faster. He could go to tell David. Tell him the information. And tells him for now. The king is preparing evil things to harm you. Now go and hide yourself. One time he told him to go and hide under the rock of Ezel. He rose up, he went to hide there. When he was fighting only, he was fighting for his friend. And these two men, they had made good friendship. They made an, a covenant together of being friends. They loved each other. They moved together. And they had good conversation together. They were good friends. They had good relationship together. They had love between them. 
that love they had, which was so great, having a strong bond in them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And uh, today's world needs love. The Bible says that love it does not rejoice of something bad to others. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Urukundo love are the great powers from God. Anytime you fight with love, you can never fail because the battle of love it was fought by our Lord Jesus. Jesus came to the world because of love and he fought Satan pushed by the powers of love he overcame Satan. He overcame the world. Overcame the flesh. And fighting the battle of love. And he overcame. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes the love of God is so great. God loves you. When he loves you, when you've got nothing to start from, it's the one who's saying that he's God who cares about the poor and insignificant. It's God who cares about people who are insignificant. It's a God who cares about the widows and the orphans. That God, he has got a great love in him. Jonathan and David, they had a strong bond of love in them. And the love Jonathan had for David, it was not usual. And also the love David had for Jonathan, it was not something simple. They were so closed friends. They were full of love in them. They had become a good friend in a covenant. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's give the glory to Jesus. They were so friends. The love of David and Jonathan. In this story, what does it mean? David is a king. And Jonathan was from Saul's family. It means to have love between you and God. To love God in your heart, in your minds, when you love God, when you love God with your heart with all your thoughts God also takes care of you God shows his love upon your life David here he was a, a friend to Jonathan. They had got very special love in them. Are you also a friend to God? God loves you. There is to love and also to love each other. The word is saying that God loved the world. And that's why he gave his only begotten son so that whoever believes in him should not perish. Instead, he may receive eternal life. God is love. God is love. David and Jonathan, they had special love in them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's give the glory to God. Rimwe na rimwe mani kisanga ho hitachiri kumwe nugoko bwayo mazaba nyabwo bana batizera bagatera umusarabo mugongo witinya yewe mwana wo muno imana nigiterera nabayo haleluya haleluya iyo uri shuti if you are a friend to God, God loves you and you also love him. There are people 
who wants things from God but they do not love God. They want good promises from God. They want to get healed from the diseases. They want to get deliverance. They need a lot of things. People who follow Jesus there are those ones who followed him because of the bread he fed them. <laughs> he, he fed 5,000 people without inc counting including women and their children. They ate fish. They ate bread. They ate bread. Noneho. Then after they followed him, they followed him seriously. They followed him. They decided to follow him. There are those ones who follow Jesus because of bread. And there are others who also followed him because of the word of the life. He reached somewhere and he put them under the measure and he wanted to see how they really love him. Then he told them that now you are going to eat my body and also drink my blood. For these people to hear this, one passed this side and went away. And said, this man, he thought he's going to give us bread and we keep eating. I thought this man is going to give us fish, we eat. Now he has brought things about his body. God, he is useful to the trial. The useful of the trial is for them to be seen out because you love God in the real way. Those trials they have to appear to you to show that you really love God without any hypocrisy. God did not fail to bless you. God, you do not fail to do great things in your life. But sometimes God tries to put people under measure so that he can see very well. He may see very well if these people love him so much. And he may really see if these people having the hunger and the thirsty for him. Those are the things happening in the time of Jesus. And he told them, you are going to eat my body and drink my blood. They started moving and going away. And they moved away. Remind only Peter and others that Jesus turned and asked Peter and asked him that Peter are you also going? And Peter answered him, if we leave you, where should we go? And yet you are the one having the word of life. The love you love God. It doesn't only appear in the time when you're thanking God in the church. It doesn't have to appear in the time when you're thanking God that he has done good to you. They get seen in the winds you pass through. In the hardship you have passed through. And you're still testifying, Lord Jesus. That's why it has to be seen that you love God. There is a song which says that when troubles come, that's when we, we believe in God. The love someone is supposed to be having for God. It's in time when the answers have come. In time you're still waiting for the answers. And you say that though even if the tree do not look soft, and also the vineyards do not bear the fruits, nothing will stop us, we'll trust in our God. Another way of people who are already grown in God. 
it is somewhere you see someone has entered into another anointing. Someone who has already entered in other powers. And you'll find these people are not troubled by the bread about, I mean, bread from God. Because they have realized the love of God. And also loves God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Urukundo, the love hagati between you and God. Hagati between you and God. Uh, the word is saying that because God is not a human being to lie or may be regret. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is one servant of God. I told you they asked him to become a great person. He may stop serving God. It is Bill Graham. They requested him to stop these things of being a pastor. He is in among people who served God in a very mighty way. And when they requested him to stop the work of God, that work he was doing to drop it down and go into another honor, he told them great words. He told them that I love Jesus and Jesus also loves me. That thing, it's only one. For Jesus, he loves me and I also love him. Those things are enough for me. There's nothing else. There's nothing which is greater than that for me to be loving Jesus. And Jesus loves me. Hallelujah. For us to be in love with our Lord. To be in love with Jesus. For Jesus to be loving me. I also love him. That one is enough for me. They had asked him to become a great leader of America. And he said, that one, I'm contented with it. There is a level where you reach in in the love of God. And you become a good friend to God. And you feel like that one is more enough. He gave them an example. And he said like how the still water is like on the heart which was so thirsty. That's how Jesus is to me. I love Jesus. Jesus, and he also loves me. Those things are Hallelujah. Amen. You see, like the cold seal water, it is on the heart which was thirsty. There was an example he gave. The other heart which was so exhausted and thirsty takes then the cold water. Like how the cold water goes on the heart which was so thirsty. That's how Jesus is to him. And for you, which example can you give? Between you and your love of God. The way how you're in love with God. Hallelujah. 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 And he said, that's enough for me. To love God. To be a friend to God. It is something someone cannot regret of. You might be a good friend to someone. And you find something small has collided you. And that person hates you. But if you're a friend to Jesus. Even in the hardship. Even in the time of tribulations. He loves you. You might be a friend to someone. And when this person is seeing you getting discouraged or you're getting poor, some things are going out of you. And when you're trying to call that friend, instead they put off their phone. This story is about David and Jonathan. 
in the prophetic way, it shows the love between a human being and God. Most times we talk about the love Jesus loves us. Let us also remember the love which we have for Jesus, which level is it? And if the love you're having for Jesus is just ending on the bread, and in the time you'll see a lot of bread, you will say bye to Jesus. Because you only wanted the bread. But the love you loved God, if it's just ending in requesting or asking for the honor, the time you'll get that honor, you will leave God. You may speak it out or you do not. There are some people who pray and even fast yet they are jobless. And they give God the promises and they write until the book is over. And they tell God if you get me out of joblessness and you give me a good job I'll be giving the tithe and offering. I will stay in your house. Then after getting a job, because they are targeting prayers, they are targeting seeking for God. It was just a job. Then after they go away, I am busy. And they start telling people, mm, who's the child? Why didn't you appear in the, in the prayers? I am busy. Ndahuze. I am so tired. I have a lot of things to attend. I have no time to come. That's how they are. If it's that thing which brought you, if you pray so much so that God gives you a wife, after getting that wife in the church the sample go to church look for a woman and when that person is looking for the wife and tries, they're asking for people to pledge in the church you find that the first to raise up their hand there are people who pledge in the church and are written in the books in the church and they do not bring through what they have said because there's something else they want not God you, you'll see them taking the, the money to go and give offerings, showing it out like the Pharisees. So that they can really show people they're going to give a lot more than others. That thing can be seen. There are some people who also get filled with a fake spirit. You try to watch some people who are shaking in the church. Know that all are in the Holy Spirit. That's how it is. There are young men who go to church. And if they're sitting or looking forward to the young lady they do not they want to date. In the time when they're preaching, he starts shouting Amen, even though it's not necessary. And they start shaking and also accepting and receiving Amen, Amen. And you think that this brethren is has really met the Holy Spirit. Yet, it's just something false. There's something else behind they need. There is someone else they are looking forward. If, if there is a heart, after you're receiving that thing, and you have to go out of the church. But the truth is, when you're seeking for God, Nyura mu misozi, nyura mu mataba, aose niko harushomoti, nyasabu itera kugira ngwafashi, uiteka mawe natinda kunyuva, nyura mu misozi, nyura mu mataba, 
Try to watch it very well. Someone get filled with the Holy Spirit because has put on a good cloth as which is new. Hey, amen, 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 amen. And when they shout amen and replies with a lot of courage, so that can show them the new style they're having. Amen, amen. And if they're putting on a nice shoe, we'll have to rise up the leg and shake it around. It is there. Though things are happening. Things are happening. We are used of them and we came to understand they are there. We are used of them. We see them. We have already seen them. There are others they get filled and you tell them that stay in. And others, you look at them when you're in, the, in your Bible, you try to see them and peeping them, but you have realized the spirit they're in. You'll know well that that's a spirit. Hallelujah. Let's give the glory to God. If you're seeking for Jesus, you do like what Jesus wants. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you're seeking for Jesus, you move in the ways of Jesus. How come someone takes 20 years in the church and that person is not saved? And that person doesn't change. They tell you that I've spent many years in the church and you find even the pagans who haven't entered in the church are better than them. And you find that person is just like the others, the one who are not saved. And you find he's really behaving like those people are not saved. And you find they are led by the human nature as there is not a spirit of God. There are those people who haven't received the spirit of Jesus. There they haven't received the anointing of Jesus. May God be glorified. Let's give the glory to Jesus. One day someone put us in the anointing. And we got touched. Hallelujah. And was making a shout, Hallelujah. And he could tell us, Go down, go down, go down, go down, and receive your miracle. Turn around and receive your anointing. And when we reached outside and started telling a young, a young lady that, may you hug me and embrace me with no zero distance. And I was like, really, this spirit, that person closing the eyes in the church, and you think that they are in the third of heaven, yet they are in the world of Haiti. People who move near by Jesus. They do not love him. They do not want God. Are the people who cause different problems. Another time. They brought the, he brought the problems to Israelites. And his whole family got a curse. Because God told them that after you overcoming and capturing, do not touch anything. Akan. And instead, he touched what was forbidden by God. A can got a curse because he did not obey God. Because he did not obey what God has spoken and what God wants. Nataka kuwa kama Yesu moyo wa moyo wangu moyo wangu 
Belili branga ya mosutola. Sitaki, sitaki kuwa kama yu na moyo wa. Sitaki, nataka kuwa kama Yesu moyo wa. Moyo wangu, moyo wa. Moyo wangu. Shaka, shaka, kuwa na yuda mti mawange. Si shaka, kuwa na yuda mti mawange. Na shaka, kuwa, shaka, kuwa na Yesu mti mawange. Mti mawange. Sale ringi prelezola. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You the angel, the man, the Yesu. Judah moved beside Jesus Basangira. and they shared together. They shared food together. Bajana, they moved together in evangelism Ariko Yuda, but Judas tinze, he had one target something about money. Judah wanted money. And Judah used to steal money. Jesus knew well that he was a thief. Jesus knew that. He knew well Judas, the one we moved together. He's a very bad thief. He knew him. Jesus knows. They walked together. And he was also watching very well that where the offerings. And he could advise them that why today people haven't given offerings. Make them give offerings. You have made a good gathering, a good crusade. The Holy Spirit was good, but you did not make them give the tithe or give the offerings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is where a woman got the expensive oil and poured it on the feet of Jesus. After pouring it, Judah, Judas Iscariot. Judas Iscariot. There were two Judas. And Judah got so annoyed and said that woman should have given that oil so that we go and sell it and we help the widows and the orphans. And You'll hear some people bring in such excuses that we're supposed to help the orphans and the widows, yet that heart is not from God. And you find they always do not say that. And you, you find them saying that you're not supposed to give the offerings at the church instead of help others. Every church has got the way how they move and how they work. That's how Judah was. And he said, we would help the widow and the orphans. That that woman should give us that oil, we sell it and get money and we help. Just because Judah was annoyed because that day he hadn't got what to steal. Judas moved behind Jesus for a long time. He moved with the disciples for a long time. And he was called a disciple of Jesus for a long time. But he did not have any love for Jesus. Instead, he loved the money. He just came to just make his business money. He had come to look for surviving. He had come to look for money. Even today, the Judas are there. And even others are preaching. Mm, there are Judas also preaching. He also listen to the word which is saying that the one who doesn't pass through the gates, that one is a thief. It means that others who pass through the windows 
Then from nowhere you hear they're saying that we are now servants of God. They are, they are not called by God and are not sent by God. There are others who find they call themselves and start for themselves. And there are those ones who are called by God. Let's give the glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Most times for those people, their target when they are working, you'll have to know it. When they are working, doing it, you'll know it. Paul said that there are some who preach the gospel because of jealousy. Who preach the gospel because of jealousy. Because he sees someone who has something that he has got something good because of Because he sees someone else he has got something good because of preaching and also try to copy them. They preach, but they're not sent by the Spirit of God. There are those ones who preach the gospel because of the passion which is in that gospel. There are those ones who want something valuable. Judas are still in. The Judas are there. In the church, there are Judas. In 12 disciples, you can never miss Judas. He's always nearby there. Judas here, yeah, he did not want the words of life. And when they would be preaching, you'd say, when are they getting the offerings? There is one thing which made me laugh. There are some people that are going to pray in the church, in the village. There are some people who take the lock, the lock drinks. There are some people that get filled with the Holy Spirit and pray seriously. And in the time they were praying, one person was praying while looking through the hands. And so the others delaying praying. Then came a young child and started drinking that local drink. Others are praying and this one is looking at them through the hands. And he started telling them, though you're praying so much, the child is finishing everything. That reduced the prayers. There are some people, when they are praying yet, instead they are looking through their hands. They are looking through their fingers. They are looking. They are looking. They pray in a such way. That's how Judas also was. Sita kiku wa kama yuda moyo wako Sita kiku wa kama yuda moyo wako Sita kiku wa kama yuda Mutima wante, mutima wante, mutima wante, mutima wante, mutima wante, mutima Dasa Kakuba, Dasa kakuba, mutima wante, mutima wante, dasa kakuba na ye, so mutima wante. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We also want to be like Jesus. Let's give the glory to God. The love of David and Jonathan it was a so strong love. It was love for a long time. It was a love of, and it, of forever. Jonathan, Yunguyu, Jonathan here. He reached a time. His time ended. David, and David continued to love him. Look at the love of God. God loves you in all the time. When you are a friend to God, He thinks about you in all the times. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God thinks about you in all the time. Your heart. God looks at it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That after some time, David, he asked his servants, and he asked, Is there anyone remaining in the family of Saul? And I may show that person kindness for Jonas and his son. Tell me if there isn't If there is anyone who remind So that I can show the kindness So that I can show my compassion to him No one And David remembered The love of Jonathan Upon his life God is telling me he has remembered his love for that one who loved him. There are people who have decided that time we love God in all times. There are people who cannot be changed by time. There are people cannot be changed by anything. They cannot be changed by the days. They cannot be changed by the days be changed by the trials. They have already decided to stick on God. And their hearts are they are getting thirsty of serving God. David, David here he remembered then any action you will do because you love God. Any time you will give because you love God. That thing it will come back to your life and it will make God to remember you. Jonathan, Jonathan he loved David and also he could sacrifice for him and he could be near him and time reached after David was lifted David was David was the king on the throne of honor. And he gave an announcement. And he asked that. Is there anyone remaining? In Saul's family. I'm a duke kind to that person. Because of Jonathan. When you love God. And even your brothers. They receive a blessing in him. Even the ones you pray with. You receive a blessing because you loved God. There are people who love to pray. There are people who love the word. There are people who love to repent their sins. There are people who seek for the Lord Jesus. There are things of wisdom. You are standing in a good position. You will never get tired. You will never get tired. Not be led to shame. David, David he will remember Jonathan, Jonathan the way how he loved him. David, he will David remember Jonathan the way they, were, they climbed the mountains together. The way they found themselves in the bush. Jonathan. And you remember Jonathan. God has remembered you. A prophecy for someone this evening. Kuko wakunze kuchira nuka Nicho nange za kuchiriza Omba Warababazwe urihangana Urasozu kuburana tukwa 
Vagu indu e nomo sazi Kumu sozi uvi gitara mo Wara baba je uri angana Ora suzu kuku anato kwa I stop the plan of Satan upon your life. May the Lord set you free and give you victory. All the demons who are fighting you to be powerless receive the victory of the Lord. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is a demon. I see burning, living your life. As I am praying, you're feeling the fire burning you, the whole of you. You're getting free. Rise up your hand. Look at the power of Jesus has touched you. You're getting delivered right now. You're going to find yourself down and has gone out of you. It's losing you right now. In Jesus' name, demon lose. My demon lose. Fire. They have started getting burnt. They are losing you. They are leaving you. You are feeling fire, the whole of you. You are feeling burning, the whole of you. In Jesus' name, I get you out of there. They had sacrificed you that you work for the darkness. But Jesus has got you out of there. I've sent his great angel and has brought you life. As I'm praying, your hands are shaking. You're caught by fire on your fingers, you're burning. How are you feeling on your fingers? Fire! I am seeing the fire on your hands. I see the fire attacking you. I've seen the chains getting cut off of your hands. You will not serve Satan. You will serve Lord Jesus. You are getting free. 
In Jesus name Sometimes when you are sleeping you talk to yourself Sometimes you wake up even you do not know where you are going How long has that taken Sometimes you speak to yourself even you stand up but you do not know where you're going. Hallelujah. Put your hand on the TV or if it is a phone then you touch it. Look here in my hand. I send anointing of, of life. Spirit of life. The kingdom is on. I stop. Whatever was fighting you. You're going to be caught by the power of fire. Look into my hand. 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 Look here. The fire of God has caught you. Has started cutting the chains. Has started breaking the yokes. Fire! They are gone in Jesus' name. You receive deliverance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your life has changed to a new one. You now speak to yourself again. You receive the victory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Jesus bless you. Amen. Amen. Where are you? Where are you? Receive deliverance in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Are you following me? Let's first pray. Put your hand on your phone. Look here into my hand. I connect with the powers to heal that finger which had remained. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You're going to feel the powers going into your hand. Continue touching your phone with powers. You're going to feel the power setting you free. You're going to feel the anointing setting you free. Receive deliverance. Receive deliverance. Receive deliverance. In Jesus' name, the power of God has set you free. Start straightening your hands. May you straighten your fingers. May you open your fingers. You try it, God has set you free. You're getting healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yes, Jesus has healed you. As we are reaching to the end, this word we have read in 2 Samuel. 
Chapter 9, starting from verse 1. David remembered Jonathan. And he asked, Is there anyone remaining in Saul's family? So that I can show my kindness to him because of Jonathan. You too, God is going to remember you. In Jesus' name. Siba came. David and David asked him. And he told him there is the one who remained but is crippled. The bad news people are speaking about it will not stop God from rescuing you. The bad information they are speaking about will not stop you from going to your blessing. That the one who had remained, he remained, but he is crippled. At that time, King David gave an order. And he said, call him for me. And bring him to me. And they brought him. And the king prayed for him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And made him sit on the table of honor. And the history changed of Ms. Boshet. Let's pray to God. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for everyone to be remembered by the Lord. Every work they did for you, bless them. I pray for everyone who supports this work. Everyone who stands because of this work. So that you fight for them in your mighty powers. And hide them in your great blood. Hide them in your mighty powers. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. For setting free. Thank you, Father. For bringing life. Thank you. You have brought victory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Bye bye. Let me say bye bye. Wow, Urashaka is Jambo, Hindura is Jambo, Dibohora is Jambo, you have Wow, Umukosi Vimana, Prophet Claude, Mayo Ukores, Kwanimana, Bates Bagachira, Wichirin Wara, Kuoka, Uhanus, Wana Natke, Kuri YouTube channel Yach, Ario, Prophet Claude, NTV, Kora subscribe, this is Kadino Kunzajira, Kujira, Tujetuana, Umonsi Kuondi, Ibini Bibiza, Imana Yatujene. Ha ha ha! Nuchi kwe, ni kuri YouTube channel ya